In this video, we're gonna be going over whether TikTok account authority actually exists. I see so many posts on TikTok, on YouTube, and all of these people are spreading misinformation. They're saying things like the first five posts that you post on your account really matter, or if your account doesn't start off really well, it can never be really well, you can never go viral, and that there's a reason and account authority as to why some people gain millions of views and why you're struggling just to get 100,000 views every single video. And to be totally honest, 99.9% .9 of that information out there is not real at all. It is totally false, it totally contradicts exactly what TikTok says, it totally contradicts what the biggest creators on this app are doing and are saying. So I wanted to make this video to tell you guys what account authority actually is, whether or not it exists, whether or not your first five posts matter, and how you could go viral every single post like you see the big creators like Charlie and Noah Beck do. Because at the end of the day, the biggest issue that's going on is nobody actually knows what a TikTok account authority is and how they can influence it. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to do that. But please, make sure you stick around for the end of the video because like I said, if you want to know how Noah Beck, how Charlie go viral every single video and how you can make it happen to you too. I'm gonna give you that information at the end of this video. I have helped dozens of creators reach a status where every single thing that they post gets over a million views or very close to that, and I wanna teach you guys exactly how to do that in this video. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Robert Benjamin, and I'm the CEO of Helping You Grow on TikTok and IG Reels, so please, smash that subscribe button so you never miss another episode. You are not gonna to wanna to miss some of the episodes that are coming up shortly, like the latest TikTok algorithm update for November, the same thing for Instagram Reels, and so many other great pieces of content. Also, if you have a question about anything throughout this entire video, please, leave a comment below. Don't forget to leave your username. I'm gonna be answering every single comment in the first 24 hours. So the first myth I wanna get rid of right away, and so many people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, but the first five posts on TikTok do not matter at all. Stop making new accounts. Stop worrying about your first five posts. They do not matter. Charlie put out dozens of posts before she ever went viral. Noah Beck put out dozens of posts. Go scroll down on their page. Now those videos have a lot of views because obviously they're super famous and people scroll down and want to see where they started, but those videos have no views compared to their current views, and those videos videos did not go viral for them. They did not see a blow up from that. And all of the big creators that I work with, and I've been having more big creators than ever before hit me up. We'll chat about that in a second. None of these people have all their first posts go viral. It happens to almost nobody. Even that dog face guy that just went viral with the cranberry juice, his first post didn't go viral. Nobody's first post go viral. Well, some people's do, but that is not a determinant of whether or not you're going to be successful on TikTok. It doesn't determine account authority. And to be totally honest, it has nothing to do with anything. So please stop creating new accounts. Stop worrying about your first five posts. It doesn't matter. Matter. In addition to that, I put out 200 videos before I ever went viral on TikTok, and obviously I've been able to grow my page. So again, doesn't matter at all. If somebody tells you your first five posts matter, it's total baloney. Do not listen to them. You cannot listen to anything else that they say. I have never even said that. I've been saying it from the get-go on TikTok. Your first five posts do not matter. Stop stressing about it. Stop worrying about it so much. I get on phone calls. I get DMs. I get comments. It does not matter. Stop thinking it matters. And if somebody's telling you it matters, just send them this video and let them know that it does not matter at all. That being said, though, TikTok account authority does exist and simply all it means is whether or not you're in a good standing with TikTok. If you've been banned from live, if you have several copyright violations, if you have several community guidelines violations, as long as you don't have a lot of things like that, then you're totally fine. And this brings up another point that I want to touch on. So many people ask me, they say, Rob, how many copyright violations can I get? How many community guidelines violations can I get before I get banned or before it starts to shadow ban me or hurt my account? And to be totally honest, the answer is that it totally depends. It depends on the severity. It depends on the frequency. If you're getting several copyright violations or community guidelines violations right in the beginning of an account. Actually, I just got a DM today. Somebody's first post got taken down. They uploaded two more videos and those videos got zero views. They wanted to know if they're shadow banned. Long story short, no, they're not shadow banned. Those videos are just now under review because TikTok's kind of worried when you upload your first video or upload several videos in a row and they all violate the community guidelines. That's going to raise a red flag for TikTok. It is going to lower your account authority, but you can increase that again by continuing to post, continuing and not violate the community guidelines, continuing and not get copyright strikes. So as long as you don't have any issues like that, your TikTok account authority is fine. For 99.99% .99 of you guys, you don't have to worry about this at all. If you have several community guidelines violations, but they've been spread out and they're not for like nudity, pornography, or drug use, or abusing animals or something like that, then you're totally fine and I would not stress out about TikTok account authority. In addition to that, whenever you do break one of TikTok's rules and you get a copyright strike or you get an account violation or something like that, please make sure you appeal the post and make sure that that doesn't happen. And on the note of this too, a copyright violation comes when you put music in TikTok that was not actually a sound from TikTok. So if you have something playing on the radio or something playing in the background, if it's loud enough, TikTok's gonna pick up on that and give you a community guidelines violation. So please make sure when you're adding music to your TikToks, it's actually music from TikTok. That is something that TikTok has the right to use. I don't know if you guys saw it, but they just struck a huge licensing deal with Sony Music, which is absolutely huge. I think way more things like that are gonna continue to come. I kind of alluded to this in the beginning of my Reels post when I was saying that Reels and Instagram wanna be able to compete with TikTok when it comes to the music industry. 
So now you guys know that those kind of things are coming to fruition, and that is why on IG Reels they're pushing out content that has music on it way more. But this video isn't about IG Reels, so I'll talk about that in my next video, which will be about IG Reels. So whenever you do get a community guidelines violation, which was my original point that I was trying to get to before I went on that riff about the music industry, when that does happen to you, you need to appeal it. If you lose the appeal, then just delete the video. If you don't lose the appeal and you win the appeal, keep the video up. It will take about 72 to 84 hours in most situations for you to hear back on the appeal. And when you win an appeal, it does not count as a strike against your account. And while we're on the topic of this, guys, I do want to let you guys know that everybody should go and read the community guidelines violations or read the things that will make you commit a community guidelines violation because it's really not that long of a list. Some things on there will surprise you and you guys need to realize TikTok and tech in general are really in the spotlight right now and they want to be able to avoid any controversy, any mention in the news for something that is along the lines of people putting out content that shouldn't be out there. So please, they're going to be ruthless in pursuing content that should not be on the app. So they're going to delete things quicker than ever before. Although they haven't been doing that as much recently as they were in the beginning. For those of you that are OGs on TikTok, you guys remember, they used to delete stuff all the time, take things for community guideline violations all the time. But that is not the case anymore. It doesn't happen as frequently as it used to. So they're getting way better at actually recognizing what should be taken down and what shouldn't be taken down. So please make sure you go read that document so that you are protected and know what you can be posting and what you cannot be posting. Which brings me to my next point. Charlie and Noah Beck and creators like that go viral every single post for two reasons. First, they're famous and the most duetted people on TikTok. Since they're already famous, people are just going to watch their content. And since they're the most duetted people on TikTok, that counts as a share and so many more people see them and so many more people, it just adds on to the whole social currency thing. That is why every single post that they have goes viral because everybody duets it because they know that they're going to get more views from that. And they're already famous. You guys have to realize these people are already famous. That is why every single post they have goes viral. If you're a random person, I would not expect every single post that you have go viral. All the creators that I work with that have every single post go viral or the majority of them, that doesn't happen until they really get big. And the reason that that happens is actually because they're getting 100% watch time. It has nothing to do with anything else. The only other factor that can make you go viral every single time is if you're whitelisted by TikTok, which only happens to a small select few creators. And something else you guys need to realize, these creators too see a decrease in views, right? But their decrease is obviously a lot more subtle. So they may go from a million views to 200,000 views, and that's their decrease in views when they're not getting a high amount of watch time. Like I said, I've been getting more creators than ever before with over 5 million followers hitting me up to help me grow their account or really just to give them advice on what they could do to their content to put better hooks, better way of incentivizing engagement and how they can monetize better. But nevertheless, you guys need to realize these creators are facing the same exact problems that the creators with 10K that hit me up are. The only difference is that they go from a million views to 200,000 and it doesn't look like that big of a difference when you're going from 5,000 views to 1,000 views. And again, it's the same exact difference. The watch time is the reason that they're seeing a decrease in views. It's the same reason you're seeing a decrease in views. If you want to go viral, every single post, you need to make sure you're getting as high watch time as possible. And you guys also need to realize these people are feeling the same crippling anxiety that you are. So please get used to this. If you're going to be a content creator, if you want to be an influencer, there's going to be ebbs and flows in your content. Sometimes your content is going to do well. Sometimes it's not. The only thing you could do is continue to increase your watch time, continue to get better. You should not be throwing your hands up in the air and saying that TikTok algorithm hates you or that TikTok hates you or your account is dead or whatever it is, whatever excuse you're going to make up. That is not what you need to do. What you need to do is analyze your content, increase your watch time, because that is the only way that you could go viral in every single post. If you want to go viral on every single post, you need to get way better at focusing on the trends. You need to get way better at increasing your watch time. Those are the only things that you could do. I go through this all the time in my personal account. Like I said, the creators with over 5 million followers are dealing with the same exact thing right now. And it's just that they're seeing a decrease in their watch time. It has nothing to do with the TikTok algorithm. Organic reach isn't going anywhere. It's nothing like that. It's just that their content is kind of getting stagnant. And I'm going to help them figure that out. Because like TikTok has come out and said so many times, every single post on the TikTok algorithm is judged individually. You get on the For You page individually. It has nothing to do with your account. Every single post has an equal opportunity to go viral on TikTok, and that is the beauty of TikTok. So if you want to go viral every single time, you need to be getting 99% of your views from the For You page. This is what you need to focus on. First, that people are following you after they make your content. That is really going to give you a boost and allow you to go viral every time. Secondly, you need to be on trend in every single video. Third, you need to have over 75% watch time in every single video, and you need to make sure you're posting at the right time. I don't care if you have a thousand followers right now, or a million, or 10 million, all of these facts factors really matter for your account. Unless, of course, you're whitelisted by TikTok, which I doubt anybody watching this video is whitelisted by TikTok. And remember, if you have a 20 second video and a 25 second video, both of them at 75% watch time, the video that's longer is going to get pushed out way more. The reason being, you guys need to realize on a thousand views, that extra five seconds of watch time actually equates to like hours of people watching content. And that is what TikTok wants. They want to optimize for content that is going to keep people on the app for longer. I know when you look at it at a thousand views and 
only a couple seconds and hours, it doesn't sound that crazy, but if you multiply that by millions of views, that turns into days and years and millenniums of people staying on this app, and that is exactly what TikTok wants to optimize for. That is why watch time is the most important factor. If you guys are having trouble growing your TikTok account or having seeing a decrease in views or anything like that, or you just wanna grow faster, I strongly suggest you get into my mentorship program. I guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok in 30 days. If not, you're gonna get your money back, no questions asked. If you wanna learn more about that, go to the link in the description. If not, I strongly suggest you watch these videos over here and these videos over here. And don't forget, please, if you have a question about anything, leave a comment below. I cannot wait to be answering you guys' questions.